hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a page to update the product with the form and api call and in today's video we will create the review entity and we will create an api to get the details of the ordered products because here on the orders page we will show a button to review and on the click of this button we will redirect the user to a page where he can see all the products of that order and then he can review them one by one so let's get started so to create the review entity we can right click on our entities package and here we need to create new java class and we can name this class as review after this we need to annotate this class with at the rate entity annotation and after entity annotation we need to add the annotation for the data and the first property we want to mention in this review entity is id so we will write private long id and we need to annotate this property with at the rate id annotation and after this we will give the annotation for generated value and then for the strategy we will pass generation type dot identity after the id we want to store the rating so we will write private long rating and after the rating we want to store the review of the user so we will create a property private string description and we need to annotate this description property with at the rate lob annotation after the description we want to store the image as well so we will write private byte array and then we will name this as image and we need to annotate this property with lob annotation as well and after that we will give the annotation for the column and for the column definition we will set it as long blob after the image we want to create a relationship of this review with the user so we will write private user and we can name this as user the relationship type will be many to one and for the fetch we will set it as fetch type dot lazy and then we will set optional is equals to false after this we need to give the annotation for join column and in the name we will set user underscore id and then for the null able we will set it as false after this we need to give the annotation for on delete and for the action we will choose on delete action dot cascade after this we need to create the relationship of this review with the product so we can copy our existing user relationship and we need to replace the user with the product and we can name this as product after this we need to update the name in the join column annotation and we can set it as product underscore id and that's it for our review entity now let's go to our dto package and let's create the dto for the ordered products response and we will right click on our dto package and we will create a new java class and we will name this class as ordered products response dto and we will annotate this class with at the rate data annotation and we will mention here private list of product dto and we can name this as product dto list and after this we want another property which is the amount of the order so we will write private long order amount now to create the api first of all we need to create the service and because this api is related to the review so we will create a new service and we will open our customer package and here we will create another package and we will name this package as review and in this package we will right click and we will create a new java class and we will name this class as review service and this should be an interface 
After this, we will right click again on the review package and we will create a new Java class and we will name this as review service implementation. And we will annotate this class with at the rate service annotation and we will write implements statement and we will mention our review service. And the last annotation we need to add is at the rate required orgs constructor. Now let's inject our order repository in this class and we need to import this as well. And here in this class, let's start the method which will return ordered products response DTO. And we can name this method as get ordered product details by order ID. And in the params, we will mention long order ID. And here we will create one optional variable of order and we can name this as optional order and we will use our order repository dot find by ID method and we will pass the order ID in the params. After this, we will write one if condition and in this we will check optional order dot is present. And before writing the code in the if condition, let's create the object for order response and let's name this as order product response DTO. And in the if condition, we will write ordered response DTO dot set order amount and we will use our optional order dot get dot get amount. After this, we need to set the product details. So we will write one for loop. And here we will loop through the cart items and we will name it as cart items and we will get them from our optional order dot get dot get cart items because we want to create the list of order details. So let's create a variable for that here. That should be a list of product DTO and we can name this as product DTO list and we will initialize with new array list. Now let's import our list class. Now in our for loop, let's create the object for the product DTO. And in this product DTO, first of all, we will set the ID, which we can get from cart items dot get product dot get ID. After this, we will set the name of the product. So we will call dot set name method and we will use our cart items dot get product dot get name after the name we want to set the price so we will call dot set price method and in the cart items we will call get price after the price we will call product dto dot set quantity method and we will use cart items dot get quantity and we don't have the quantity in our product DTO. So let's open our product DTO and let's mention another property which is private long and let's name this as quantity. Now let's go back to our review service implementation and at the end we want to set the image. So we will call product DTO dot set byte image and we will call our cart items dot get product dot get image method. Now we will add this product DTO into our product DTO list. So we will call product DTO list dot add method and we will pass product DTO. And after the for loop, we will use ordered product response DTO dot set product DTO list and we will pass here product DTO list. And at the end, we will write the return statement and we will return our ordered product response DTO. Our method to get the ordered products is completed. Now let's copy this and let's mention here in the review service. Now let's go to our controllers package and here in the customers controller, we need to create another controller. And for this, we can right click on it and we will choose new Java class and we will name this class as review controller. We will annotate this controller with at the rate rest controller annotation. And after this, we will add the annotation for required orgs constructor. And then we will add the annotation for request mapping. And for the path, we will pass it as slash API slash customer. 
and after this we will inject our review service and we will import this and now we can start writing the endpoint and this will return response entity of ordered products response DTO let's import this class and we can name this method as get ordered products details by order and then we need to mention at the rate path variable annotation and we will write long order ID and here we will write the return statement and we will return a response entity dot ok and here we will call our review service dot get ordered products detail by order ID and in the params we will pass the order ID and at the end we will add the annotation for get mapping and for the URL we will pass it as ordered products slash order ID our API is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 and we have the logs for the table creation of review and that's it for this video in the next video we will call this api from our angular application and we will show all the details of the order products to the user and after that we will create the api to post the review as well